Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another update about uh, me trying to remove uh, the copper from my system. I started doing water changes, adding activated carbon and uh, for a, a couple of days now a cupisol into my uh, sun. So all of this I'm doing to eliminate the copper from my system. It's been 20 days now and I still have trace amounts of copper with my uh, copper test I do not see any copper but if I uh, if I put a paper uh, sheet and look at the test water I can see that the test water still is a very gentle uh, blue color so there is still a little copper in my system but Cuprisorb works really, really great. Uh, I can see the color change in, uh, in the Cuprisorb. I'm going to show you that right away. So like I was saying, the system is running okay. I never had any problems with water quality, water quality, fish are doing okay. The only problem is that I think I see a white spot on my blue tank. Now I don't know for sure if it's eek or not but I hope to God it's not because I do not want to restart the treatment. Try to understand I did keep this tank in a copper concentration for four weeks maybe more. Uh, that was a 0.6 copper concentration never saw any eek on my fish. Now I see a white spot on my blue on my blue tank. This little guy over here. And I'm not really sure what is it. I do not see any white spots on my fish. I'm not going to add copper again. I'm just going to see what's happening. So I, I don't I don't even know if it's still there. But definitely I will keep a close eye on my fish to see if it uh, starts again. But I, I really I don't know how can it be still be active uh, after four weeks of copper. I don't I'm not saying that it's active now, but I am going to keep an eye uh, on my fish. So now let me show you guys uh, the cuprisorb that I have in my reactor to see the different color so you can see this is my reactor guys I have a, vid a video about building uh, this reactor, a do-it-yourself uh, project, of course. So you can see the cuprisorb right here. You can see that from a gold color, it's now turning a blue, dark, all the way to the bottom because water flows from the from here up. So you can see the color change; it's very clear. But it still has a lot of gold color, so. If, if the top one doesn't change color, it's not absorbing any more copper. But definitely there is a visual difference in the cuprisorb. I like it, it works best to remove copper. I didn't do a lot of water changes because I'm trying to save money on salt. And I think that the cuprisorb is the easiest and cheapest solution to remove the copper from my tank. Now, let me show you my uh, small tank where I'm keeping my corals and starfish. This is my 60 liter tank. I just turned the lights on. The Xenia grow uh, <laughs> large because it's trying to get up to the light. My starfish are still alive. Some corals are alive over there. Some of them are dying. My SPS are doing very bad. You can see them. I still have some zoanthids over there. 
I had my rack covered in so Zoantis, but they are all dead in my main display, so I have uh, three or four left in here. And some Kenya trees, they are still alive, they are doing great. So, yeah, I have some snails in here. So, this is why I, I couldn't move my fish into this, this small 60 liter aquarium, but I can keep my starfish and my snails. And my big aquarium, I am going to try to just to see if they, there is any copper. I am going to put this Kenya tree inside my, uh, my display tank. And I know if it has any copper, it will turn blue and the polyps will retract. So I know it's something wrong. Or maybe there's a one this. I'm going to try that. So if I'm going to see if um, the corals do not like my uh, main aquarium, I know there are still traces of copper left. If nothing happens, I'm going to put uh, a snail to see if it's, it can survive. I'm going to put another piece of coral. And uh, after that, I'm going to put a starfish. You can see there I have a brittle, no, a serpent star over there hiding. So I'm going to put them in order of the price the the cheapest one i'm going to put them first and the expensive uh, starfish i'm going to put them last but i first i am going to keep an eye to see if i have uh, eek returning in this tank or not i hope not okay guys thanks a lot for watching and if you like my videos please consider subscribing for more do it yourself projects and maybe some useful stuff. Bye.